time it is? Burger time. Burger time. Every night we sit and we do this. She's having an appetizer right now. It's dates with cream cheese. And we sit and we do this and we we'll patiently wait for the sun to go down because the second the sun goes down, it means that Love Island starts. And that's pretty much all we do in this house. <laughs> so welcome back to my channel. <laughs> she, said we, we, she said we should all get treadmills. Like imagine setting that up right here and we're just like watching Love Island. <laughs> like why? Or we get one treadmill oh, and we line up. Oh my God, the, the horse trampolines. Yeah. I'm gonna make peanut butter burgers. I made these burgers a few months ago on um, a live stream and I kind of just winged the recipe. I just, I knew I wanted to make a burger with peanut butter, but like I didn't go the peanut butter and jelly route because it felt like it would be too sweet. So I kind of went like peanut butter Thai, like spicy with cilantro and whatnot. And everybody seemed to love it. And I promised you guys I would make a video with the recipe and I never did. So that's what we're doing today. Um, it's really simple. All you really need is burger, like burger patties, bun, cilantro, this hot sauce, just like a chili sauce. Any chili sauce should work. And then bacon. So let's cook. You guys are hungry right now, right? Oh yeah. yeah. Hungry now? <laughs> Alex said, oh yeah. Okay, so first I'm gonna start off with cooking the bacon. I usually like to put it in the oven because then you don't have to worry about it. It's like a, n a very little mess to clean up. But the past two times I've made bacon in the oven, I've burnt the sh out of it. So I'm just gonna go old school and make it on the stove real quick. I'm gonna make it in the cast iron and then I'm also, like, I'll wipe out the bacon grease and then I'll put the burgers in there. But it's kind of ironic because I'm using plant-based burgers, but I'm gonna cook it in bacon fat. I actually haven't done this recipe with normal patties, like meat patties. I've only used plant-based and I really like the flavor, but I'm sure it's just as good with a normal patty. I cannot get happier than ever out of my head. No, I've been listening. I'm not kidding. I listened to it 35 times at work. I'm gonna yes. cover it because I'm obsessed. It's so I good. And then I found a video on YouTube and somebody like edited that the last part that becomes like the rock part and made it like a full song and it like totally works as a full song. Oh, that's cool. Like it, it repeats, but like you kind of don't notice cause they like change the instrument a little bit. Probably my favorite song off the album right now, but I also really like Haley's comment. Have you, did you listen to it? Yes. It's so pretty. She also just posted on her story, like she found a video from July 2nd, 2019. Mm -hmm. And it's like Phineas, her and somebody else. I didn't recognize the other person in the video, but it's, her singing happier than ever and like they're showing it to the, whoever the third person is in the video and it was like really cool to see Whoa. like the fact that it was a song three years ago okay. or two years i can't do math do you smell bacon mm. okay bacon's done and it's not as crispy as i want because now i'm scared to make it crispy because i'm just gonna burn it again i can make i can make sushi i can make pasta from scratch like, i can make so many really good things but i will never ever be confident in my bacon making. It's just not my strong suit, but that's okay. Okay, now I put all the bacon grease in a mug, let it cool, throw it away later, don't pour it down your drain. Um, and then I have residual on the pan, and I'm gonna make these. These take like no time because they're plant-based and you don't have to worry about dying. Shout out to the scientists who created plant-based burgers. Okay, the burgers are done. Put a little bit of butter on these and like toast them in the pan real quick. Okay, so everything is done. The buns are toasted. And I've made these burgers a few times and I kind of do the order different every time. And I think I'm gonna do bun, chili sauce, burger, peanut butter on top of the burger so it stays warm and gets like melty, bacon, cilantro, and then on the top bun, do another thin thing of chili sauce. So that there's just like moisture through and through. Then peanut butter, this is crunchy peanut butter. I would suggest creamy. I just feel like it's easier to like spread and stuff, but this is all we had. Now I'll do probably like two pieces of bacon on each cut in half. We've also said in the past, this would be really good with like fresh jalapenos on it. I will never, I refuse to believe that coriander and cilantro are the same thing. No. Ah, these look so pretty. And then another layer of chili. Mm. This is not that spicy either. Like I promise you don't have to be afraid of it at all. Look at that. 
Holy crap, I'm so excited. Here, I'll plate them up and then I'll, we can eat over there. Thank you. Oh my, Thank you. This is like something you would order at a restaurant. And tonight we've paired it with Miller Lite. Oh, this is what we had on 4th of July. Um, it's probably up by the time you've seen this, but we, we, Alex and I filmed like a little vlog that day too. And it is the perfect combo. Cheers. Break the plate. <laughs> Opa! The combination of flavors. Mm -hmm. Like you just, it just makes sense. Mm -hmm. It's such like a Thai vibe. Oh my God, there's a mm -hmm. smudge on my screen. Sorry guys. Oh, you guys have something <laughs> on your face. I'm wiping your mouth. I didn't help that much. Sorry guys, I don't know what that glare is. Yo, I don't even like beer and I genuinely like the taste of this. Mm -hmm. What a classic combo. I have to say this is like one of the things I'm most proud of that I've ever made because I kind of just did it based off taste. <laughs> There was a siren. I'm full and surprisingly my stomach doesn't hurt. Usually it does after bad food, but I think it's because of plant-based burger. I feel like it wasn't as heavy, but now we're gonna watch the new Gossip Girl. If you've watched it, do you like it? Do you not like it? I like it. I think they did a good job and like kind of giving the same feel but it doesn't feel like as grand and lavish and luxe as like the original Gossip Girl. And the drama is definitely not as bad. Like what I like about the original Gossip Girl is you you got to know like the family and like the corrupt companies they all worked for and all that. And right now it just feels very like high school drama-y. Did you guys know that the uh, the wardrobe is done by the same person? That did really? that did uh, the original series. Whoa. Yeah, it's the same guy. I haven't seen a headband yet. We saw one headband. Oh, you did. Remember? Wait. In like the first episode. Uh, like, oh, she's yeah, she's like headband. headbands are done. Yes, did, I thought that was like a good callback to like obviously Blair wearing all her headbands. Hi guys, I forgot to close out this video, but I hope you enjoyed. I feel like this recipe has been so highly requested, so I'm so glad I finally did it for you guys. Let me know if you have any questions. Y'all know I'm not the best at like giving perfect recipes. I kind of just like go off taste, but like I think this was the best version of this burger I've made. So you guys are definitely getting the best version of the recipe, if you will. Also, look, I got my nails done. I feel like a witch. I'm so excited for Halloween. Also, don't forget to go check out the little, you saw the little snippet of the video, but the, the barbecue montage that I did with Alex and all of our friends, it's on Alex's Instagram and my Instagram. And thank you so much, Miller, for working with us. Such a fun brand to work with. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.